You're very welcome along to Ireland Dame on Virgin Media One. You are indeed, from Halloween treats to catwalk trends. Do you know what? We've got so much on the way between now and it's ten. It's a busy show, we lots do. to look forward to now. I bet you're looking forward to this. Pubs. I know. What? It... It's true. We all are. Pubs are set to be open until half twelve every night of the week while clubbers can drink until 6 a.m. We're going to be chatting about the pros. After the break, an overhaul to pub hours means pints can soon be served until 5 a.m. Yes, coming up next, we're going to debate if the new licensing licensing laws are a good idea or not. Let us know, of course, 0896 111 We'd love to hear from you as well. That's coming up after the break. Pubs are set to be reformed. If legislation goes through, pubs can open until half 12, with nightclubs serving until 5 in the morning. Here to discuss the pros and cons we've been here with us this morning. morning. And I know that for you, Ian, uh, people who have been working on Give Us the Night, uh, on clubbing is life and, and clubbing is culture, mm. it, it, this has been, you've been campaigning for this for almost two decades now, probably longer. Yeah. It's the first time in 170 to 200 years that we're really seeing reform of licensing laws in Ireland. So for you, is this a huge step forward in bringing us in line, obviously? So the one thing that you point to these studies that show, you know, there's increase in harm in alcohol. We've just had a pandemic where increase in alcohol sales, they, they were huge during the pandemic. There was no search board. Young people in Ireland are starting to drink later. Something, is, something good is happening in Ireland. There's increased awareness around it and kids aren't getting aren't starting to drink as young. So this, like, there's, it, it's not nightclub's fault and pub's no, fault that I, there's a l huge amount of people I, I drinking. Cer I certainly get what you're, you're saying. And indeed, I would say that it is better that people would drink in uh, controlled environments. I really do think, of course, countries all around the world, we have to learn how to consume alcohol properly. But do you not think that there's a huge issue between 2012 and 2019? The number of adolescents that were treated for cocaine-related hospitalizations has increased by 170. Their communities are being decimated by people who were taking ecstasy and cocaine at a ridiculous age because they don't drink anymore because it's too expensive. No, I absolutely have to just stop you there because really, um, there is a bit of a... I, want. I looked at nine English language studies last night in relation to anti-social behaviour violence and increased um, opening hours, and they're not consistent. Some saw an increase in violence and others saw a decrease or no change in violence at all. Uh, and this is in relation to opening times. Is it all about us? And actually, it's not about where, it's not about going out and how late places are open. It's about us and how we drink. Because people are drinking at home. Like, if you go home... You're trying to get a cab at two o'clock in the morning, then everyone, 20 people are back at a house party until 11 o'clock the next morning. Is it about our behaviours rather than what's open? Yeah. Uh, still to come, we'll be finding out about a brand new sexual consent play for secondary schools. Ireland M is back in a few minutes. Now, a new play aimed at secondary school students has recently launched to help them navigate the topic of consent. We're going to take a quick look at the play. Thanks for being here with us, us this morning. Um, tell us about this play. Siobhan, and why it was so important and how it came about? Well, we do a lot of research. I, I, was, I think for an awful lot of times it can be parents who don't realise. I was quite shocked the other day. I was watching an Olympian doing gymnastics. Right. And it was like using a trampoline to learn stuff. And by the time I got down, to like three videos, four videos later, for some reason there was a woman who was naked on a trampoline and then right. like, sex acts were happening. Yeah. This was on TikTok. Yeah. It got there from very, the start. From of I just started watching, at watching an, Olympian. an Olympian practice, right? Yeah, right? Okay. yeah. And it got there so quickly. Yeah. And you know, I don't have kids, but I was going, "How the hell did this yeah, happen yeah. so yeah, quickly?" Yeah. yeah. So there can be this shock. We had statistics last week about young people and mm -hmm. sexual assault. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Teen on teen sexual assault, the yeah. violence that's accompanying it, the fact mm -hmm. that there's more than one attacker. It was really horrific yeah. reading mm -hmm. last week. So with this increased information that we're giving. Yeah. Are you having any pushback from people in relation to giving teenagers this information? I'm wondering, Siobhan. Like, I mean, what's yeah. wrong with it? I just want to say fair play to the actors because oh, remembering yeah. when I was a teenager, when someone even said the words Sex. kissing or anything in front, and you'd start laughing and you do, and they're there in front of teenagers doing it all, fair play to them. How can I people find out more? around Dublin, uh, being rolled out around Dublin, but you want to go around the yeah. country, so get yeah. in contact with that. We'd love to hear what you make of this um, this morning, 0896 111 Welcome back, only a few days to go until Halloween. We're wondering, have we got our decorations up? I don't put decorations up for Halloween, do you? 
You're, no, you're no. such screwed. You, I I know. Know. you do. You welcome trick or treaters. I would. Do you know what? I, I, you have to put up decorations, don't you, so that they know to call to the house. Yeah, of so course. I'm going to put up a little ghost on me uh, on my front door. A <laughs> little Is ghost. Is that okay? Steal a few of these or something. Oh my god! Well done. I will. Absolutely. <laughs> it's yeah. just Robin from work. And I put mean, them listen, outside. the house may be hanging out the door for the weekend. So. Well, you go. <laughs> We'd love to see your decorations. Will you go Send all them out? In. Well, we don't go all out. But we, we've kids. Um, we'll we'll show you some of his it. pictures. We'll show you some of his pictures no, in a we'll, few minutes. No, we'll do send in your pictures. Yes. We'd love to see them. Now, you'll be doing well to beat the next house that we're going to see. Absolutely. But if you want to send in your pictures of what you've done for your house, give us some ideas. It's 0896 because it's nice to be a bit festive. A bit of crack. The kids love it. They do. And Derek is in the home of one family who go... If you haven't seen them already this morning, they go okay. above and beyond and to the wildest reaches of the galaxy for Halloween decoration. For Ireland alone, that's it's amazing. What an understanding yeah. wife she I'm is. telling you, yeah. It's you lovely. What? I wish it was Christmas. Poor <laughs> Gail looks so upset. She's like, oh my God, just oh. wants to be Santa. Well, listen, he's done, doing a great thing, raising some great money. Yeah, and listen, it's a passion for him. But imagine the garage, the attic, one of the bedrooms. Fair bedrooms. Taken up with all the Ten decorations. Fair play to you. It looks oh, absolutely amazing. I want to go and see that house. Uh, definitely looks amazing and of course you can uh, donate online there's lots more still to come in the final hour of Ireland AM today yeah, fashion it's all about animal prints on the catwalk and where do you hear this <laughs> if you stick your red wine into the blender it makes it taste better there, Does you, it? Go. Yeah. there you go we're going to be talking about that a little bit later on <laughs> see you in a couple minutes you got your blender very welcome back I, I just love that house it's amazing it was amazing it, it really player. was and we asked you uh, to send in some of your pictures if you've uh, been decorating for Halloween and this is Paul and Deirdre's uh, from Killarney's <laughs> I've no, honestly, I don't even know. No, it's about five, three or four or five, six. Three <laughs> He came in the other day and he was showing us and there's these ghosts hanging up. He's, you've got green and purple yeah, lights. We're not really going out like this year now. We're really just having There's green and purple this. lights all over their trees and all over the... It's class. No, it's not. It's a bit ridiculous. My wife loved it. daughter had a Halloween party last night. They're having a Halloween disco at school t tonight. There's another one Friday, another party they're going to. Like, for kids, Halloween is massive. Oh, yeah, it's And huge. they just get loaded up full of sugar <laughs> as well. Um, and is it is it Monster Mash? Like, is it all the oh, songs come out every year? Oh, Thriller and Monster yeah, oh, Mash yeah. and, oh, yeah, everything. this is Thriller. Uh, no, it's great crack, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I, it to is. To be fair, I would be a bit of a Scrooge initially with this, but... but